My name's Sophie, uh, I'm a zoologist and science communicator from Devon um, and I enjoy exploring as much as I can and using adventure to try and learn about wildlife. So when I was at school I didn't really know what I wanted to do but I knew what I enjoyed um, which was being outside, being with wildlife, being a bit adventurous. Um, so at university I just decided to do zoology because that was a good mix of all those things. Um, and then towards the end of my degree I was introduced to science communication through a public engagement field course and I wasn't really aware of the breadth of the industry and how that could kind of mean anything. You could communicate pretty much anything that you wanted. Um, so I found this Masters in Science Communication and that was a really practical course and that introduced me to kind of my passion which is to use film and social media and digital stuff to communicate um, wildlife and nature, especially in the UK, and to kind of be adventurous along the way. I think social media is a brilliant tool to communicate science because you've already got a ready-made audience that's there, that's waiting, it's constantly online. So I think using that as a tool to reach loads and loads of people on the devices that they're using every day um, is a really effective and efficient way of communicating things. I think Instagram is brilliant because it's very visual and I'm quite a visual person. So communicating amazing animals or beautiful landscapes is already tapping into uh, why Instagram is so effective. So I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think there's a really strong female community on Instagram especially. Um, I personally felt really supported by a lot of women who are in science on Instagram and I think because Instagram as a platform is so engaging and interactive, it's very quick and easy for uh, women to comment on your post, to support you or to share it or you to do the same for them. Um, and I, I feel really supported on Instagram um, and I think doing that as a woman and also pushing myself physically and sharing those adventures on Instagram um, gives me a lot of confidence as well and I think other women find that too. I think using social media is a brilliant way of engaging young people um, and just making nature and adventure and science just fun and something that they can do and that's accessible and I think being relatable is really important um, and I think if you show that you're in touch with stuff on social media, you're digitally orientated, I think that really resonates with young people as that's what they want, that's what they're interested in. There's definitely not a um, set recipe for becoming a scientist. Anyone can be a scientist. I think nowadays it's much more of a broad term as opposed to being a scientist in a lab coat with goggles on in a lab 24 hours a day. I think, you know, it means so much more. So, for example, I didn't realise that being in the field and being adventurous and collecting data about social media trends could actually be a form of science. I didn't realise that that kind of thing could be actually published in a academic journal. Um, so I think, you know, don't label science as one thing or another. I think it actually describes a massive range of activities, of projects, of travel um, that comes together to ultimately kind of reach the same goal. What I love about, about science is that you're constantly learning and I think that, you know, completing my degree was just the beginning and actually being outside and being in nature and in the elements um, and pushing myself physically gives me so much more confidence in myself in terms of self-esteem as a young woman but also confidence in my knowledge because I'm constantly learning and I think it makes such a difference being out seeing animals and seeing wildlife in their natural habitat. I learn so much more about their behaviour and it kind of solidifies things that I learned in my degree so I love how you know you never stop learning and learning from the people and the land around you and that's really exciting. Bye.